very good afternoon to you all students we will be starting a subject workshop on it tools for business and e-commerce and we will start the topic introduction to computers so students i hope all of you know that in today's era there is a major role of it without it i think we cannot do anything nowadays for example right now all of you are conducting the online classes so what do you think are you using the it tools yes you are using you are using the various it tools to conduct your online classes as well as your teachers are also conducting the it classes right and how these classes are possible how these online classes are possible these classes are only and only possible because of internet right so we'll be starting this topic now starting with introduction to computers what is a computer a computer it's an electric machine which helps to perform various calculations which helps to perform various functions right so it's an automatic electric machine for performing calculations right according to international standard organization a data processor to whom it's called data processor it's the computer it's a data processor that can perform various computations including arithmetic that is it includes the various calculations the various mathematical calculations right and logic operations without intervention by a human operator during the run so computer in a whole it's a it's an electronic machine which helps to perform various logical operations as well as the mathematical operations right the characteristics of the computer you know that this computer system has numerous characteristics that is various features of the computer you know that a computer has memory in it where you can store a large amount of data it may be the files it may be the pictures it may be the audios music videos right then it has so much speed that your single task is done within some seconds right the mathematical calculations are performed within some seconds right then it is automatic right it is accurate it is reliable very much accurate versatility and diligence we will discuss all these characteristics one by one in detail starting with speed as we all know that a computer is known for its speedy work right the files which you cannot make easily in a written form you can make it on the computer very speedily you can perform a lot of mathematical calculations on computer system speedily right so computer works with much higher speed and accuracy as compared to the human being 
when you for example when shubhdeep or samrina or parth would be calculating the various simplification sums you may take much time but the computer will never take much time it will perform all the calculations within seconds right so a computer can process millions of instructions per second right the next one is accuracy so we all know that whenever you write anything in your word document or you are writing suppose anything and you are making a ppt of any topic which is given to you by your subject teacher whenever there is a spell mistake whenever there is a spell mistake the computer system always identify it it always underlines that and if you are ignorant about the mistake but with the underlining which is done by the computer system you are able to know about that that you have some error into it and what you do then you verify your spelling mistake right so what does the computers do the computers perform calculations with 100% accuracy correctness is there always in computers okay next diligence now what does diligence means a computer can perform n number of tasks i hope all of you are familiar with it right so what are the n number of tasks there may be the calculations right there may be n number of calculations they may be making the counting statement right they may be making any engineering drawing right so related to that the, the computers are doing n number of tasks i hope all of you are familiar with it right and what they say is that a computers never feel fatigue or tiredness right so what does it mean it means that the computers are more and much superior than that of the human beings right the next one is versatility what does it mean now the computers are versatile it means they can do number of jobs right they can do n number of jobs easily the next one is reliability it means a computer is reliable as it gives consistent result for similar set of data right if we give same set of input any number of times we'll get the same result again right it is a reliable the next feature is automation the computer will perform all our tasks where we do our work the computer is automatically operated we just have to give the command and all the calculations and all the things is done by computer itself right so it performs tasks without manual intervention so you me need not to interfere in computer's work all the things are done just you have to give a command okay suppose just you have to in order to take out a print right whenever you need to take out a print you just have to press control plus p right the computer will itself give command to its rest of the output devices right everything will be processed itself it will be automatically operated you need not to again switch on the printer and again you have to do something on with the printer it will be automatically done 
right and how it will be automatically done it will be automatically done because of its feature automation right i hope it is clear to you all the next one is memory so what do you think about this student does a computer have some memory in it okay leave the computer just tell me about your mobile phones do your mobile phones have some memory into it yes they have why because you have to do n number of operations on your mobile phones what the ppt has been sent by your lecturer you need to download it to your personal phone right and at the time of exams you need to read that right so all those downloaded material is stored into the storage devices right so a computer has some inbuilt memory in itself right where this computer stores its data and what are the various devices in which the computer may store its material are there are secondary storage devices there are primary memory what are these various storage devices it includes removable disks right it includes various pen drives where you can store your data and your data can also be travel from one place to another because pen drives are portable you can carry them anywhere they are wireless right you can carry into your pocket you can carry your important material always with you in your pocket in your bag right to cds to pen drive and so right now we'll be doing the advantages of computer as we know students that there are n number of advantages of computers that's why we are using we are in so much familiar terms with the it nowadays right so the first one is multitasking the computer is multitasking in nature right how is multitasking you know that whenever at the same time you can install a pen drive into it and you can copy one material from another while it's getting copied till the time you can operate your excel and you can perform your calculations on excel it will not it will not interfere in your work right the computer will never interfere in your work while you are performing various calculations while the data is getting transferred right so what they say they say that person can do multiple tasks multiple work multiple operations at the same time calculate numerical problem within few seconds right and computer can perform millions and trillions of work in one second right okay if you are familiar with excel right you know that in ms excel you might have heard of microsoft excel so you know that there is a spreadsheet in there where there are n number of rows and columns right there are n numbers of rows and columns in excel here it is the formula bar there are insert options home view and so on options available on the top right and here there are numbers in 1 2 3 4 5 and so on right so what happens suppose you have to take out the sum of n number of data suppose you have the data of 10000 persons right so you have 10000 persons data and what you have to do is you have to sum the ages of all the persons and what the cumulative age you have got in order to do that you need not to 
switch on the calculator and you need to plus one by one. Hari 65, Rame 75, Kunal 24, right? You just need not to do this. Yeah, just what you have to do is in the formula bar, I will tell you how to operate that. In the formula bar, you just have to write down sum, S-U-M, sum, right? And you have to select the first one, the first Harish number, right? And you have to drag it till the end and you have to close the brackets and when you will enter it, you will get the sum within some seconds, right? I will give you a demo of this also, okay? The next one is speech. So as you know that, how speedily we are able to perform the various calculations on Excel, right? Within some seconds, we can accumulate, we can take out the sum of 10,000 data, right? The next one is cost or storage. It's a storage house. Right? And as you know that, whenever you buy some laptop, right? Whenever you buy some laptop, whenever you talk about the memory with the seller, he always says, whenever, if you, will, if you want to purchase more memory product, you'll be charged more. If you want to buy less memory product, it will charge according to that. So, the cost, right? Amount of knowledge. Person can save huge data within a coffee budget. Centralized database of storing information. That the major advantage it will reduce cost. So once you have bought the computer, once you have bought the PC, then you are able to store n number of information into that for a long term, right? The next one is accuracy. So this is the main advantage of computer that is the computers not only perform calculations, but we know that the calculations performed by computer is 100% correct, right? Next one is data security. Once you have added your data into your PC, the computer system, because it has the various firewalls, it has various protection kits installed into it, it makes your data secure, right? Nobody can hack your computer system if it is secure. So the next one, task completer. Humans may take time to complete one task in a day, right? Or even they can take up, up to a month, but the computer never. The computer always completes all the tasks for which the various commands are given to it, right? Communication. The computer helps the user in a better understanding and communication with the other devices, right? Productivity. It's quite obvious the level of productivity of computer, which is operating automatically, it is doubled, right? And it is very much fast. But if you ask, a human being to do that much piece of work in a day, the productivity of human being would be less, very much less, because the computer performs the various tasks within seconds, nanoseconds, it takes, right? Reduce workload. Information are often accessed by more than one person with the necessity for work to be duplicated. Right? So the work is, workload is reduced because once, suppose once I have saved 
the student list of become third student in my personal computer i need not to enter it again what i will do it i will just copy the list and i will paste into other workbook if i need it so it reduce, reduces the workload then it is the reliability computers can perform same work repeatedly without any errors or without any fatigue right and as you know if the that piece of work is done by human beings they will definitely be tired right so the next one is storage we have already discussed this that the computer systems has inbuilt memory right they have inbuilt memory okay so you can store any number of data in its memory it has primary memory as well as it has secondary memory right so the primary memory is in built and whereas secondary memory in order to store the things in the secondary memory you need to attach that device to the computer system like the pen drives the various series right next topic we are going to discuss in introduction to computers is disadvantages of computers right so you know that to every system there are good points also that is the points favoring to that thing right but there is also sort of criticism but there is always some disadvantage related to that thing right so in the similar way the disadvantages of computer are virus and hacking attacks and i have told you no doubt that i have told you that there is digital security system installed into it but still there are hackers who can hack your device right who can break out the password and who can run through your computer system and they can perform various copying issues they can perform various theft issues right they can copy your pictures they can copy your very confidential matters which are already into the saved memory of your computer system right then there are online cyber crimes what are these cyber crimes now these are the crimes which are related to the computer and its net right online cyber crime means computer and network may have utilized in order to commit crime cyber stalking it can be fraud now what is cyber stalking it is going into some other's id and checking their post checking the material right and copying it doing fraudulent activities with them right then the next one is high cost as you know that the computers are very much expensive so this is a sort of disadvantage because some of the people they may they can purchase it and some of the people they may not purchase it, right according to their financial problem right so it has high cost the next one is distractions and disruptions what does it mean you know that when you have when you have spent hours so many hours on the web or watching videos on youtube then you know that your computer is distracting you besides your work if you are watching the other videos 
you are wasting your time right no doubt it has high entertainment value no doubt the computer systems have high entertainment value but it distracts you it's a disruption in your world right the next one is increase waste and impacts the environment so you know that with the speed that computers and other electronic get replaced all the old devices all the old versions of that it tool they are thrown away and that is a very big disadvantage to the environment these things are a very much barrier in what in our environment's pure level right our environment is not getting pure our surroundings are not getting pure because of such things because these things need a proper disposal and when the old things are not in use they are just thrown away and it is a very much big problem for the environment i hope till this what we have discussed is clear to you all and we will come with the next topic soon